All right, Dave, thank you. And switching gears this morning, as a part of the station's commitment to fighting the opioid crisis, we are partnered with the Governor's Prevention Partnership for the B and R Expert Youth PSA Contest. That is where members of the partnership, they reviewed entries from students ages 13 to 22. And this morning, we have the winners of that contest. We have Michael and Amira. They are from Jonathan Law High School. And we welcome you both to the studio. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for um, having us. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so for those of you who are not familiar, the challenge was for you all to create a PSA. We're talking about the opioid crisis. First of all, what made you guys want to enter the contest in the first place? Well, what made us want to join the contest was like we saw how many people were affected each year in the in the U.S. and in Connecticut. And uh, we knew we had to do something. So we like came up with a PSA and like how they were like how it affects the people. Yeah, and like both of us had personal connections to people that have been affected by the opioid crisis, so like it had a lot of a bigger impact. Uh, now I'm guessing you all work together as a partnership. Yeah. Talk about the steps in the concept of the PSA you all ended up making. Well, um, I mean, it took us uh, about a week to write the script, so like it took us some time like to get the facts, mm -hmm. to get like, um, what we were gonna like film and like how we were gonna plan it out. Like yeah, and we watched a lot of different like PSAs from different contests to see different like types of ideas for different things that we could do. Okay. Um, and talk about the concept of your PSA. I got a chance to watch it. We also have it on our website for you all that are watching at home. Talk to me about what it was about. Either one of you. So, <laughs> um, we saw like the numbers, we looked at a bunch of different statistics and we saw the numbers were so high and we saw a lot of people's different stories when we were looking through it, like when looking through all the articles and everything. And so we thought that it would be more impactful if we use like people's stories so that people that watch it that may be affected by it can really connect to it and like it will have like a much bigger impact for them if they feel that they're not alone. Um, and this was really a challenge for you all, the youth, to kind of step up and create this message. For you guys, when you think about people your own age, um, how would you say is the best way to help you all understand the opioid crisis that's going on right in our own backyards? I mean, you both say that you have personal connections to it. Yeah, like, personally, like, it affected both of us, like, in our families, like, opioids and, like, we knew we actually had to do something about it, so. Yeah, and I feel like just raising awareness because some people don't realize that it's such a big thing. Like even people that you wouldn't expect at all, like it still can affect them. You're both amazing. And right now, I wanna go back to the contest part of this. I mean, mm -hmm. you all entered, we're talking about high school students, people from college, and out of all that, the two of you were chosen. Um, first of all, tell me your reaction when you guys find out you won. We were honestly really surprised because we saw a lot of the other entries online and we knew there was like a lot of tough competition, but we were so excited when we won because we did put a lot of work into it. Well, well when we, um, we actually won, uh, it was like during school, we got like a call fourth yeah. period and we were like shocked that we won, but mm -hmm. because we looked, like Amira said, we looked at all the competition and we thought it was really tough. Um, and for you all, when you, I mean, this video, it's now created, it's out there. Um, it's a nice short video, but it's very powerful as well. What do you guys hope that from now on, when people see that PSA, they learn from it? Well, I think just really just making sure that people who have been affected by it know that they're not alone and know that other people are struggling with it and know that the number of people struggling with it is that high. Mm -hmm. Like, literally, like, thousands of people. Yeah, like I hope when people see it, they they like they know that the words are stronger than like the just the picture itself. It's just like the facts, and like they need to know that they need to like quit or whatever they're doing. Is there anything that surprised you all while you were doing? I know you had to do some sort of research to be able to put the PSA together. Was there anything that you guys were surprised by while you're making the video? I think just like knowing that it's just everyday people that are impacted by it, and like it's not like anyone like any certain type of people like it's literally everyone it's all different types of families from all different types of social classes and that was just like really surprising to us I'm so happy you both are here again Jonathan Amira they're both from Jonathan Law High School and they won that contest the be our expert video is amazing we have it on our website and thank you both for joining us Thank, Thank you. you. All right. All right, your time is 8.36 right now. And moving on to this next story, tensions flared at a community meeting in New York.